Hey guys, are you looking for a cute way to display your desserts? Well, go ahead and check out this video. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my previous videos and let me know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget, I try and link everything I used in the description box. And if I can't link exactly what I used, I'll link something as close as I can get. Okay, let's get started. I'm joining Maria from The Artsy Cupcake as well as Lisa Burningham and we're going to show you how you can decorate some cupcakes as well as how you can display some desserts. I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to check out the description box where I'll have both of their channels linked as well as the playlist so you can see everybody's inspiration and how it came out. Here we go guys. Okay so for this project I'm going to kind of give you a couple different options and tell you what my vision kind of is. So you can use any kind of taller glass vase. You'll probably want it to be a little bit more round because that's going to make it more sturdy for something to set on top of it. I'm going to use this one today. It's from the Dollar Tree. It's one of my favorite shapes of the glass vases that they have. Here's another option. This is just an old Yankee candle. If you don't know how to get the wax out, I'll go ahead and link the video that I did showing you an easy way to get the wax out. But that's all I did. I took the wax out. I still need to clean off a little bit of the label, but that gives you a nice little glass jar. And then you can repurpose something and not have to go buy it. I'm going to use the floral foam, or <laughs> I'm going to use the floral moss from the Dollar Tree. And usually I like that little, what is it called? The moose moss or something like that. It's a little bit more of a army green, but this one is a very bright, vibrant green. And since it's for Easter and we're going into spring, I just wanted a little bit brighter color, so that's why I'm going to use this one today. I'm going to use one of the eggs from my eggs that I got from the Target Bullseye section. And if you haven't noticed, I've done a lot of projects with these eggs and I haven't reused any of them yet. So I'm using another one of those. The Dollar Tree has the little buckets. They're in the wedding section and it comes in a set of three. And so I got that. Here's one of them, and I think I'm going to leave it white. I haven't completely decided I might paint it because I am also going to paint my egg. So I might paint this as well. And then to hold the egg up in here because it's a little bit small, if you can find the speckled eggs from Dollar Tree, I'd use one of those because they're a little bit bigger. But since I don't have that and I want this to sit in here, I am going to use a little bit of floral foam. You can tell I've used this on another project, but I'm going to go ahead and cut out a piece and raise it up a little bit so that it's a little bit more noticeable. Another option to raise the egg up in that bucket is the little wood rounds. And these took forever to get to my Dollar Tree. They just came. So this is another idea. Or you could replace the bucket with one of these and it'd still be really cute. And then last but not least, I'm going to use this plate. I chose a smaller plate just because I thought it was a lot cuter and I didn't want it to go too far beyond the vase. So that's why I went with the smaller plate. But let's take all of this and put it together. I've made a decision. What I'm going to do is use the lavender and the pool color from the Waverly Chalk Paints on the egg. And then for my bucket, I'm going to take this little stippling brush that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take a little bit of the ballet slipper, also from Waverly Chalk Paint. You can use any paint you want. I'm just going to kind of stipple that around here. I'm not going to be super particular, but just to give it a little extra color. So that's what I'm doing. Let me know in the comments below what colors would you use for this. Working with the Waverly Chalk Paints, I found I always, no exceptions, <laughs> have to shake the bottle and I'm using just kind of what came out on the top part of the lid and then I'm just going to use this and stipple it all around I'm going to continue to go back to that spot that I started in because it's going to have the most paint otherwise if you didn't want to have to do that you could just start on a paper towel and get most of it off and then start. And having just that little tiny bit of paint on there is going to make it so it dries really fast too which is awesome. Okay guys so next we're just going to start with our little vase. How much you put in is totally up to you. This stuff does make a pretty big mess most of the time so just be careful. And I'm kind of putting it around the outside because that little tin or the little bucket's going to go in the very middle. So I'm going to call that good for now and put a little floral foam in our bucket. Adding just a little bit of the floral moss because I don't want it to look too empty or out of place so this will tie it all together. And then for our Easter touch we'll grab our Easter egg and put it right in there. So I'm deciding to put one of these little, um, I don't know what to call it. I'm deciding to put one of these log pieces, one of these wood stems, right in the middle because I want my bucket to stand up just a little bit more. 
I want it to be a little bit more noticeable. I'm not sure if I can lower this in with the egg in there. Oh. Voila. So I need to add a little bit more floral moss at the bottom there. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a chunk and I'll kind of rub it together a little bit. Yeah, you get some fallout, but it brings it a little bit more together so it's a little easier to place and mold. So initially what I wanted to do is actually use the ceramic bunny, but I couldn't find one when I went to Dollar Tree. So this is what we're using. If you want to raise the bucket up a little bit, you'd probably for sure want to go ahead and glue it to that stem at the bottom, the wood stem, just because it is a little bit rocky. But I want to use these pieces again, so I'm going to leave it like it is. And then for displaying all the cupcakes, I'm just going to put a plate on top. If you did want to connect these two pieces for a cupcake or dessert to display of some sort, then you'd want to use E6000. It's going to have a lot more of a sturdy hold, especially with glass pieces. All right, let's put a cupcake on and take a quick look. Okay guys, here's the final look at our cupcake holder, our cupcake display. I tried to make a little bunny bottom cupcake at the top, but <laughs> that didn't turn out. I hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to do another craft next week, but until then, bye bye